Hello, YouTubers and fellow hams. Well, I had a uh, viewer request uh, some information on how to use Logbook of the World, the AWRL's online log service, with Linux. And uh, I thought, okay, that's a good idea, sure. Um, it is a little bit complicated and uh, can confuse you. So this is how you're going to do it. Okay, the AWRL's Logbook of the World is a central repository for your log entries. And they use it for um, verifying uh, contests and issuing certificates and so on and so forth. So it's a pretty good idea, um, a central repository where everybody can upload their logs. And then uh, you don't have to send in paper QSLs. Um, the computers can do the uh, verification on a lot of things and certificates can be issued more quickly and so on and so forth. Uh, but getting the information from your ham station to the AWRL is the tricky process. They don't really have an online um, logbook in, in a way that you could just hop on and take a look at. Uh, they still rely on you to do your logging and then just upload your logs to them. But it's not just a straightforward upload. They need some kind of security in this transfer. Uh, they want to make sure that the person sending the log information is the person whose log it is. And uh, I think they went a little bit overboard on security, uh, but they did need to make it secure, and uh, boy, did they. That secure transfer is the tricky part. Uh, what they did is they wrote a program called TQSL, or Trusted QSL. And Trusted QSL is a client that you run on your computer that takes your log entries encrypts them and locks them with a secure key and then sends them to the AWRL where they can then be unencrypted and imported into your log entries. And TQSL, it provides um, not only security uh, and encryption so that the transfer data can't be intercepted, uh, but also uh, proof to the AWRL that your logs are your logs. The program itself looks pretty simple. Um, you've got uh, an option to sign a log and upload it, uh, which is the one you'll use the most often. Uh, sign a log and save it for upload later. I think that might be useful if you were on a remote station. Say you were on a laptop and you were out in the field. Uh, you didn't have internet and you just wanted to get your logs ready to be uploaded when you got back. Uh, create an ADIF file for signing and uploading. I haven't looked into that option I guess that's probably more manual entry of log information. And log into the Logbook of the World site, which just launches your browser. So the program itself is pretty simple on the surface. But getting the program, um, well, getting the program under Linux is easy. We'll, we'll cover that in a second. Uh, using it initially, uh, you'll have to go through quite a few steps. Um, let's, uh, let's take a look at getting the program first. So to install software under Linux, we're fortunate to have available to us a large library of software that's already been pre-built and ready to go. Synaptic Package Manager lets us browse this available software, and there are, well, 55,914 programs out there that are ready for us to install. Now I'm going to search for TQSL. And we will find that Trusted QSL is already available. All I need to do is just check this box and mark for installation and hit apply and it'll install it. I've already installed it on this machine. But as you can see, it's there. Trusted QSL is the package. Um, alternatively, you can do it in a terminal. And uh, I'll open a terminal by typing Control-Alt-T. For under Ubuntu, that works. Under others, like Debian, you might have to go to your menu system and find your terminal there. But once you have the terminal open, you can type sudo apt get install trusted qsl. And that will install it. It'll ask you for your password. And uh, it's complaining because I have Synaptic open, but what would happen is it would simply install the program and you'd be ready to go. Now once you've got Trusted QSL installed and you can run it, the first time you run it, it's going to complain that you don't have a certificate. Now what is a certificate? A certificate is a key 
from the ARRL that is used by the program to encrypt your data before it gets uploaded. So we need to apply for a certificate from the ARRL. It'll ask us, do you want to request one? Sure, let's request one. And it's going to come up and it's going to ask for some data. Your call sign, you're going to have to choose your DXCC entity. And this QSO begin date, this is important. This certificate is only going to let you upload uh, log entries that are after this date. So uh, you can set this as early as possible or leave it at the default 1945 or you can change that. And you can also en enter an end date, which is going to be far in the future if you leave it blank. So you want to leave that blank, but you need to make sure that this QSO begin date is before your earliest log entry, or you won't be able to upload those early log entries. After I enter my data here, I hit next. It'll ask for my personal data, name, address, email address, and so on. And then I'll be able to submit a request for that certificate. Once that's submitted, you have to wait the ARRL will email you the certificate within a few days. Now once you have that certificate, you'll come in here in the program to call sign certificates and you will load a call sign certificate. And this, is, this will be the certificate that you have um, received from the ARRL. And that will show up then here. Now once you've got a valid certificate in, um, and you only have to do that once per computer, um, you'll go to station locations and you'll define a location for your, uh, your station that you're uploading the logs from. They let you set up several locations, like let's say you had a, a cabin in the woods in another state that you go to sometimes, you know, you could set that up. Or a field site that you go to often, or a national park or whatever. You could set up locations so the logs could have different locations. So you'll want to set up your, your home location. And um, that consists of yeah, I know, I don't have a certificate installed yet. But that consists of a, um, um, a grid locator and some generic or some basic information about your, uh, your station location. So now that we've got, hypothetically, uh, TQSL set up and uh, ready, we need to upload our log. And uh, that is pretty simple. Now, most logging programs, now I use Xlog. Um, I like it because it's fairly simple. Another popular one with Linux is CQRL log, but any log program will have an option to export your log file. And when you choose that, it's going to spit the log out in a file called ADIF. That is a universal format that all logging software should understand, and it can be used to transfer logs from one log program to another or to other services for example, Logbook of the World. So I am going to um, export my, my log. I'll call it uh, log.adif. And I can choose how many QSOs I want to export from this log. Um, you'll want to do your full log initially, but down the road, you're only going to want to um, export your additions since your last upload. In my case, I've only got a couple on here since the last upload, so I'm going to tell it just to do the last two. But this will create that file, and that is the file that we will then upload to Logbook of the World. Um, within TKOSL, then, all you need to do is click this icon to sign a log and upload it automatically. Now, it's not going to work right now for me because I don't have a certificate. I discovered while preparing for this video that the ARRL will only issue you one certificate and that certificate is bound to not only your information and your call sign but also the computer that you are um, running TQSL on. It only works on one computer. You can't get multiple certificates, I don't believe. Uh, I could be wrong, but I have not been successful. When I <laughs> applied for a new certificate for this computer, the uh, certificate on my old computer, my, hand com my shack computer, became invalid. So I think they only give you one. So word to the wise, you're going to upload from one computer and one computer only, as far as I can tell. So I can't do it from my uh, editing computer here, but trust me, it's very easy. You click this icon, and it comes up with a box for you to find the file that you just created. You select that file, and it uploads it, and you're done. 
um, it'll be processed and, and uh, listed on Logbook of the World. And when I go to Logbook of the World and I log in, there they go. And I can then, let's see, where's the button? Where's the button? Somewhere, in, no, your QSOs, here it is. Most recent QSOs. And it pulls up my log and shows me the most recent entries that I've uploaded. So that's really all there is to it. Um, the software is available. You can install it easily. The certificate is the tricky part. It takes a little while, but once that's done and installed, it's just as simple as I just showed you. Export your log, click this button to upload it, and you're done. So that's really all there is to it. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Also, if you're not already a subscriber, click to subscribe. Join us on the Facebook channel for discussion about the videos. And if you'd like to help support this channel, please click to support me on my Patreon page.